Hey guys, here we go. One more week of online learning for technology. This week we're going to focus on the internet traffic light about finding just right sites for us and making sure that we're only going to places that are good for us. All right. Uh, nice seeing you all in class this week. I uh, hope you enjoyed the Nearpod. I'm going to try to get that even nicer for us and smoother for us so we can explore more fun internet tools throughout the next couple of weeks. All right. Hope you're doing well and we'll see you soon. Bye bye. All right, here we are with our next lesson on internet safety and being a good digital citizen. Today we're going to take a look at the traf or the internet traffic light. It has a red, a yellow, and a green light, much like you see when you're out driving in the car. We want to ask ourselves as we're going through today's lesson, how do you stay safe when visiting a website or an app? How can we stay safe when we're visiting different websites and apps? When you play outside without a grown-up, what are some of the things that you do to stay safe? I want you to think about that. See if you can come up with some answers. What are some things that you do to stay safe? Okay. If you see strangers, they come to talk to you, or you see someone you don't know, do you talk to strangers? Do we find people that we don't know and have a communication with them? Are there rules that we have to follow or that we do follow? What do you do if you need help? How can you tell if you need help? When are those situations that you need help and what would you do to get that help? Those are all important things to think about when we're outside, but it's also important to think about those when we are inside on the internet. It's important to stay safe on the internet just like it is to stay safe outside. Now we're gonna start with this video here from the Digital Citizens and they're showing us how they stay safe online. We go online to find new things to do and see. The internet traffic light shows where we need to be. Green means go to sites we trust. Yellow means slow, being safe is a must. Red means stop, ask if it's okay. Trust your gut to go the right way. Green means go to sites we trust. Yellow means slow. Being safe is a must. Red means stop. Ask if it's okay. Trust your gut to go the right way. All right, so our digital citizens, they trusted their gut and followed the internet traffic light when visiting sites on apps. Same thing that we need to do when we go to so somewhere. We want to make sure we know what is right and what is wrong and that we're in the right place. So just like a regular traffic light tells people who are driving if they need to slow down or if it's time to go or time to stop, we use the internet traffic light to help us when we're visiting apps and websites. So the first one we have here is a green website. Green means go. A green website is a site or an app that is just right for you. All right, some sites are made for adults, some sites are made for teenagers, some sites are made for kids. We want to make sure we're finding that just right site. It should, have, it should be fun with things for you to do or to see and uses appropriate words. Remember, just right means something that is appropriate or fitting. All right, so we want to look for those apps and websites that are just right and are fun and use the correct, appropriate, nice words. What are some green websites or apps you visit? Think about some of these different websites or apps that you might visit that are green. Maybe your teachers have shown them to you. Maybe you've seen them from your parents, or maybe you found them on your own. Remember, green websites are the ones that are just right for you. Some of your favorites might be like ABC. Uh, later in the year, I'll introduce you to a website called Wixie that you may have used last year. Okay, Brain Pop Junior. These are websites that are made just for you, and they're just right. Those green websites, the ones that are okay to go to and you can have fun on them. They're made for you. The next type of websites we're going to come across is a yellow website. So a yellow website is a site you're not sure if it's just right for you. It looks like it might be, but you're not really sure. Some of the words are hard for you to read. Maybe the words are for, for older kids or bigger kids and you're just not ready to read them yet. A site that asks for information such as your name or where you live or your phone number or if it asks you to fill out a form. These are yellow websites where you need to be cautious. Take caution means to be careful. And when you have to be careful, the best way for you to be cautious and careful is to find an adult. Find someone you trust to come around and help you with it. You want to find that grown up and ask them if it's okay. 
and they'll make a decision if that yellow website is okay and green or if it's actually more of a red website and you should not be there. So anytime you have any of this comes up where you're just not sure, be cautious, be careful, and get an adult to help you. And what is a red website? Whew. Well, a red website has everything that a yellow site has. A site that is clearly not just right for you. A place you have gone by accident if you click on a link to, on an accident and it brings you somewhere that you don't, you're not supposed to be. It may have pictures and words or videos that are for older kids or adults. A place where you're allowed to chat with people you don't know. If you come across someone that's asking you for your personal information or there's videos that are for older people or they're talking to you and it's people you don't know chatting with you, this is a red website. And what do you do when you have a red website? You get an adult immediately. You leave that site and get someone to help you. You have to be very careful with the red websites because they can make you feel uncomfortable. We're going to stop when those happen and get away from them and find an adult. So the question, or the, the, the websites we go to, there's the three kinds. The green websites are the ones that we know that are just right, and we can go to them. As long as our parents know we're on their computer, we visit those green websites. Any website after that, you want to get an adult if you come across it. So have you ever been to a red website or app? How did you know it was not right for you? Think about this. How did you know? Was it something you saw or something you read or a video? Or was it just because you knew you shouldn't be there because you got there on accident? All right. Remember, stay away from those red websites. If anything is that makes you unsure or, or uncomfortable, you get an adult to help you. All right, so we're going to have our video right here with our poem again. We're going to listen to this poem one more time before we move on to the next slide. We go online to find new things to do and see. The internet traffic light shows where we need to be. Green means go to sites we trust. Yellow means slow. Being safe is a must. Red means stop. Ask if it's okay. Trust your gut to go the right way. Green means go to sites we trust. Yellow means slow. Being safe is a must. Red means stop. Ask if it's okay. Trust your gut to go the right way. Trust your gut. They keep saying that. Trust your gut. And that means if you have a feeling that something's not right, you should trust that your gut to help you. All right. And here is that poem as well for you. I'm going to put this into the folder. You can print up this poem for yourselves if you want to. You can color it in on the one. There's two versions. There's one that's already colored. And there's another one you can print up and color in yourself. And you can use this poem to remind you about the difference between your green means go your yellow means slow, while red means stop. Trust your gut to go the right way. So in your uh, assignment this week, there's going to be a couple of um, questions or situations that you're going to listen to or read through. And then you're going to decide for each of these, is it a green, a yellow, or a red website? So when you see this, this section where you have to pick between green, yellow, and red, you're going to answer those questions. I know, don't pay attention to this. This is what we would do if we were um, at school. But we're going to do it a little different because we're going to use a, prog uh, um, a quiz kind of thing for it. Okay, guys? So three rules, green, yellow, or red. Try to figure out which all of these websites are that I'm going to show you in your assessment afterwards. And then, then you'll have a pa your pause and think moment where you'll be drawing a picture to show what you would do if you accidentally went to a not right website. And write about what you would do too, what you should do if you accidentally get to a not right website. What are we going to do if we come across one of those red websites or yellow websites? Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in class during the week. Bye bye.